There are many questions we have every day about space and the universe. For example, how much is the real distance between the moon and earth? How big is the universe? Or does this ever exist? Yeah, so apparently there's some rare objects in space for some reason. And it comes from the great channel of Brightside. Last time I reacted to them, they gave me my most popular YouTube short ever. So, you know, I saw this on my recommended and I was like, I have not reacted to anything in a while. And this is a hell of a thing to make a comeback to because I've never seen anything like that in my life before. I might learn something new today. So let's get to it. Our solar system is full well, of mysterious objects so far. that come from, well, everywhere. In October 2017, researchers in Hawaii spotted a mysterious thing that they dubbed a muamua. This means a, what? a visitor from a faraway land in Hawaiian. Or, that's a really big cow. It followed an escape orbit. It literally escaped from its planet's gravitational pull, like throwing a ball into space never to return. This meant that this weird thing arrived from somewhere outside of our solar system. Interesting. There were tons of theories about what it was, from a simple asteroid to an extraterrestrial spacecraft. What? Scientists even thought it was a chunk of nitrogen ice from a Pluto-like planet. Nitrogen ice? A strange shape only added to the mystery. The big changes in the light curves showed that this thing could be either elongated like a tube okay, or hold on a second. like a pancake. This thing was unlike I, okay, anything what is that we've name? seen before. Uh, Mua Mua. Mua Mua didn't behave exactly They're like right a about comet cow or analogy. an asteroid. <laughs> the comets are icy and form bright tails when they pass near the sun, while asteroids are basically just rocks and don't form tails. Oumuamua has yeah, no, no shit. tail and doesn't release gas, <laughs> like me. But it's not your average rock either. Its surface is very shiny, almost like polished metal. When it passed by the sun, it sped up, like it had a rocket on it. And it wasn't the sun's gravity <laughs> that, that gave Oumuamua the sudden boost. <laughs> Scientists aren't sure what caused it. So what in the world was that thing? After years of study, scientists now think that Oumuamua uh. is probably a comet with frozen hydrogen on its surface. <laughs> Amua, Amua. This hydrogen reacted with sunlight, speeding up the comet and changing its path. I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what it is. It looks like, like, it looks like a weird rock thing but it has a very funny name to it. So, I mean, we'll start something now. You might have seen a, a Mua Mua counter on the screen already. Take a drink every time I say a Mua Mua from this point forward. <laughs> After years of study, scientists now think that Oumuamua is probably a comet with frozen hydrogen oh, on its surface. Oumuamua is funny. This hydrogen reacted with sunlight, speeding up the comet and changing its path. Oumuamua likely got all that hydrogen from being exposed to tons of cosmic rays for a long time. Huh. It got some nice red tint from them as well. Oumuamua was a visitor from a young chaotic solar system where collisions and migrations happen all the time. What is the name Such of that system? Such systems often toss many small objects around. It might have been pushed out by a planet like Jupiter, whose gravity really? is so insanely strong that it can fling huge things into outer space. The same thing that. often happens with comets here. Oumuamua already left our solar system, <laughs> although similar objects visit us sometimes, about once per They're year. They're not named Oumuamua, are they? To learn more they? about these mysterious guests, astronomers plan to send a probe to chase Oumuamua. We'll use Earth's and Jupiter's orbits to slingshot it fast enough to catch up with the comet. But some of the unexpected visitors stayed a bit longer. In October 2019, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope took a picture of a bluish comet trailing dust and gas. It was already in the solar system at the Some time. Some people have found their brand new uh, wallpaper right there. From Earth, somewhere between <laughs> oh, really? Mars and Jupiter. We saw the glowing dust surrounding it, but we couldn't yet see its nucleus since it's way too small. Well, small is relative here. The thing is about 3,200 feet across, ah. which is like the length of nine football fields. Nine March American football fields, Hubble images apparently. showed that a small fragment of the comet broke away from the nucleus. That means that the comet is very active, unlike Oumuamua. As we observed it further, we found that the nucleus is a loose mix of ice and dust particles. Its surface is also very similar to others, with rough areas and smooth blankets of icy, dusty debris. The comet was discovered by an amateur astronomer, Gennady Borisov. So, it got the name okay. Comet 2i Borisov. Congratulations! 
Scientists quickly hey, confirmed they off. came to us from outside <laughs> our solar system. And this thing sure was an enthusiastic tourist. I've it seen that animation before. That thing is old. Miles oh, it's that hour. fast. That's fast enough to circle the Earth four times in just one hour. Damn. This visit was fascinating for several reasons. Another computer thumbnail Most for some. Most in our solar system come from the Kuiper Belt, or the Oort Cloud. The Kuiper Belt is a region of space beyond the orbit of Neptune. It's like a big, distant ring around the Sun, okay. filled with many small, icy objects. All of them are ancient leftover pieces from the time when our solar system was still very young. The Oort Cloud is much farther. It's like a giant bubble around the solar system, also filled with super-old icy objects. Most long-period comets come from there. But where did the comet 2i Borisov come from? We still don't know for sure. Scientists say that it likely formed in another star system, which could be either younger or older than our solar system. Would be weird if there was a third option, NASA. Anyway, mm -hmm. it might have been kicked out from its home system, just like a <laughs> <moon. laughs> Although comet 2i Borisov is too small to hold on to its own atmosphere, it developed a coma when it approached the sun. Now, coma is a funny name for that beautiful glowing cloud of gas and dust that surrounds the comet's nucleus. It forms when the sun's heat causes the comet's ice to vaporize, releasing dust and gas into space. This one was friendlier than Oumuamua and gave us some more time to study it. As a result, we learned more about its cool, unique traits. For example, it had never interacted with another star. Oh, really? But unfortunately, Borisov had to leave too. Now it's on a path that will take it back into interstellar space. However, there are many more visitors to come, and you might have heard of this one. The Great Comet of 1996. That's what we call mm. the Comet Hayakutake. It was also okay. named after the astronomer who discovered it, Yuji Hayakutake. In a beautiful right. coincidence, it was discovered on New Year's Eve. On uh, March 25, 1996, this thing passed by incredibly close to Earth, only about 0.1 astronomical units away, a bit farther than the Moon. It passed over huh. the North Pole. This made it one of the closest comet encounters in 200 years. It was visible worldwide, and it looked very bright and beautiful in the sky, stretching out widely. And it didn't stay for one night only. It got more and more visible during March, becoming one of the wow. brightest objects in the night sky by the that end of the month. That must have feared a lot of the people. Comet only fully faded Imagine by if the that hit. May. It's a long period comet, which means it takes hundreds of years to orbit the sun. The last time it visited was about 17,000 years ago, and now its orbital period increased to 70,000 years. Damn. But don't be upset, there are other comets that will brighten our days and nights. Besides, some space objects prefer to stay around for longer. Now, there's this asteroid with a multisyllabic name that, to pronounce, is above my pay grade. This name in Hawaiian <laughs> means the mischievous one of Jupiter. Luckily, scientists had mercy on really? us and dubbed it BZ. Hey, BZ. speaking for all the other narrators, thank you. It's a small <laughs> asteroid, only about 1.8 miles in diameter. You can guess from the name that it shares an orbit with Jupiter. But there's a cool catch. The asteroid moves in the opposite direction, which is known as huh. a retrograde orbit. The unusual asteroid was discovered on November 2014. It orbits oh, really? the sun that, for about uh, 11 uh, years and 8 ago. months, sometimes passing inside and outside of Jupiter's orbit. It's been this way for at least a million years, and it will remain so for about a million more. But why does it move so unusually? BZ might actually be an interstellar immigrant. Perhaps it passed by our solar system about 4.5 billion years ago, around the time when the Sun was just forming. Then it got right. captured by gravity, but saved its opposite orbit. Or maybe it came from the Oort cloud. Then it could get its weird orbit from the mysterious planet 9, a hypothetical planet that's believed to exist in our solar system far beyond Jupiter. In any case, this asteroid gives us more insight into the history of the solar system and how organic materials can travel to us from outer space. Now, at any given time, there are thousands of objects in our solar system that come from outer space. They stay here for different lengths of time. But sometimes we get lucky, and they end up teaching us a lot about interstellar space. 
that's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Well, uh, that was definitely bright. <laughs> well, okay. So I don't know where the the Uma the Uma Uma counter is now. So you can just check it. It's probably no, it's not. It's down there. Yeah, it's down there. So far, uh, two for two for bright side videos on this channel. It's uh, wasn't that bad, honestly. I got a pretty good laugh out of it. <laughs> so yeah. With that being said, uh, please make sure to like the video. You can like that that guy's video, you can like this video. Anything is appreciated, guys. I mean, after I posted five videos in 24 hours, I'm willing to do a lot more than that. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. It's been a while since I've done a reaction, you know? It's, it feels good to get back into the swing of things. Reactions were almost entirely what I was doing like five years ago. So it's weird that I'm barely doing them now. So every time I come back to one, it feels kind of special. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. Peace.